Jesus continues, If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting anything back. Then your reward will be great. You'll be sons of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Jesus has something amazing here. He says, yeah, yeah, if, if you give, if you lend to the people that are nice to you, big whoop. Evil people do that. If someone is kind to you, you're going to be kind back to them. That is just normal. And Jesus calls you to not be normal. He calls you to be special. And that means showing love to those who don't love you. So this falls in with the whole theme of this week. Love your enemy. Yeah, love the people that are mean to you. Now I'll say it again. That does not give you an, that does not give them an excuse. They're doing evil to you, and it is evil. And, and that doesn't give you an excuse to add to the evil. What it does instead is say, "No, I will do what is best." That may mean laying down borders or boundaries. That may mean rebuking that person, saying, "You got to stop that. This is wrong." Because that's showing love to that person. I want you to stop that. I want you to repent. But my motivation is love. I want what's best for you, even though you clearly don't want what's best for me. 